If you pay attention to the news, you may remember lots of frightening stories about Teslas crashing under the direction of their infallible autopilot systems, or have images of Model 3s engulfed in flames seared into your memory. The message is clear. Be wary of these newfangled electric cars and their deadly high-voltage battery packs. Are Teslas really more dangerous than conventional combustion-powered vehicles? And if not, why does it seem like there's a disproportionate amount of media coverage of Tesla accidents? The answer is the same reason that the fabric of society is being torn apart at the seams. Media impressions. Tesla is a hot topic. Its controversial founder Elon Musk is basically a real-life superhero, the company's stock is incendiary, and people with a sense of nostalgia for the fiery gasoline crashes of yesteryear just love to watch a fancy high-tech Tesla burn so they can say I told you so. When you cover Tesla, you get clicks. Every time Jim Bob's Ford Bronco bursts into flames on Route 66, it doesn't get international media coverage because no one cares. The truth is, the probability of electric vehicles catching on fire is lower than cars with internal combustion engines. And according to researchers, only one fire occurs for every 100 million properly used lithium-ion batteries on the market. Regarding autopilot, according to Tesla, autopilot is nearly nine times safer than a human driver during average driving conditions. Because most accidents are caused by driver error, Tesla's intelligent system of software and hardware sensors can protect drivers from their own mistakes, with features like safety assist, which can prevent you from drifting lanes. Personally, I'd rather be driving next to a Model S with autopilot engaged than someone who's late for work responding to email while doing 80 on the highway. Autopilot is not yet full self-driving, and most accidents are the result of drivers overestimating its capability and not following the rules, which insists they keep their hands on the wheel and eyes on the road at all times. Tesla's revolutionary mix of passive safety and active safety features make their cars some of the safest vehicles in the world. In fact, their Model X is the only SUV in history that hasn't rolled over in the multiple tests that have been performed. With each and every outcome, the Model X came back to its upright position with incredible ease. But the Model S and Model 3 have also been praised for their unique features that allowed them to achieve the lowest overall injury probability out of any vehicle that was ever tested by the US government's new car assessment program. When talking about passive safety, we refer to all the elements that can protect the driver during an accident, the overall architecture, the airbags, and the structure of the seats, as well as roof strength. All of the Tesla models tested by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety performed incredibly well, but there was a model that outdid every other car that was ever tested, and that was the incredible Model 3. In fact, the best-selling electric sedan is so safe that it was granted the 2020 Top Safety Pick Plus distinction by the IIHS, receiving the good rating, which is their highest score, in all the important categories. The moderate overlap crash test, as well as the side crash test, showed the driver injury staying in the green, which means that in case of an accident, you can get out virtually unscathed from a Model 3. And all of these are made possible by one evident feature electric cars have, a lack of an engine. Because the front of the car is basically empty, there is more space for the steel to crumple and drive the impact shock away from the occupants, redistributing it across the entire structure of the car. But the Model 3 also proved to be extremely stable during a crash and this achievement could only be accomplished thanks to the reinforced structure of the battery pack that's mounted to the car's floor, providing a uniquely low center of gravity that's translated into extreme sturdiness and stability in case of an accident. On top of all this, the Model 3 has a near 50-50 weight distribution, as well as an incredibly low polar moment of inertia, which means the heaviest components are located closer to the car's center of gravity. When talking about airbags and seat structure, Tesla's budget sedan excels with its custom-designed restraint system that keeps occupants safely in place thanks to the pre-tensioners and load limiters, making the proprietary design of the seats yet another winning element that helped it score the maximum safety marks both from the IIHS and the NHTSA. Both the passenger and the driver airbags are shaped to protect the head in angled or offset crashes the active vents dynamically adjusting the internal pressure of the frontal airbags in order to offer the optimal protection tailored specifically for the particularities of the crash. The front and knee airbags together with the collapsible steering column also contribute to reducing any possible injury to the inferior limbs. The roof strength is yet another aspect that is attentively tested when wanting to rate the safety of a vehicle, and Tesla's Model 3 broke all the records when it proved it can withstand a peak force of 21,000 pounds, the equivalent of almost six times its own weight. 
the IIHS requires that cars should only withstand forces that are four times their own weight. And remember, we're talking about the Model 3 that has an all-glass roof after all. Last but definitely not least, Tesla reported that their Model 3 recorded the lowest intrusion from side pole impact out of any car that was ever tested by the NHTSA. Unlike frontal crashes, in a side impact, there's very limited room for a crumple zone, so the patented proprietary pillar structures and side sills developed by Tesla were designed to absorb as much energy as possible in a very short distance. These structures make the side pole impact much less dangerous for the passengers, and together with the fortified battery architecture and the vehicle's sturdy body frame, contribute to the overall excellent safety of the Model 3. People fear change, and having a high voltage battery pack instead of a fuel tank frightens old people. Between 2012 and 2019, there was only one vehicle fire for every 175 million miles traveled in a Tesla. To put this into context, Data from the National Fire Protection Association and U.S. Department of Transportation revealed that in the United States there's a vehicle fire for every 19 million miles traveled in all vehicles, a 9.2x higher likelihood of fire than the Tesla. Tesla's state-of-the-art battery design prevents fires, and in the case of a crash, the safety system works in such a way that it isolates the fire to certain areas within the battery pack, while simultaneously venting the heat away from the cabin and the passengers. Tesla even has a cut loop that first responders can cut to shut down the high voltage system in the event of an accident. It wasn't only the Model 3 that managed to break all the safety records when it came to electric cars. The Model X did one better. It became the first ever SUV to plainly refuse to roll over. Bad dog. It's a well-known fact that the average sports utility vehicle is now safer than a sedan, but they do have a major setback due to their high center of gravity. They're extremely rollover prone. The trick with the electric Model X is that it has a heavy battery pack in its chassis, which makes the center of gravity so low that both the NHTSA and Tesla couldn't tip it during their dynamic tests. All of this means that it's not only one of the most technologically advanced SUVs in the world, but also the safest. The NHTSA is the only organization that rates rollover resistance, besides the frontal and side crashworthiness. So when they tested the Model X and acknowledged that it just doesn't tip over, Tesla's in-house testing department received an official and unbiased thumbs up. The Model X is 9.3% susceptible to rolling over, the best score that was ever achieved by an SUV. In comparison, the 2016 Nissan Rogue has a 16.4% chance of tipping over in an accident. But neither the Model 3 nor the Model X were the first to break all records when it came to passive safety. In 2013, the Model S was literally destroying the NHTSA's roof-crushing test equipment before it could even register a result past 4 Gs, which would have meant that four Model Ss could be piled on top of each other without the cabin caving in. Interestingly enough, the Model S also exceeded a safety score above all SUVs and minivans, even though it's a sedan averaging better than five stars. It's not only passive safety that's important when looking at a car, the active safety is of course another important point that we should take into consideration thanks to the latest technology available. The whole world knows that Tesla is continuously striving to build the most intelligent electric vehicles. With summon, collision avoidance, extra smart autopilot, and lane assist functions, Tesla engineers have built an amazing AI system that practically drives the car for you. All of these contribute to the great crash rate prevention. In the first quarter of 2020, Tesla reported that they registered only one accident for every 4.68 million miles driven in which drivers had autopilot engaged. By comparison, the NHTSA data shows that there's an accident every 479,000 miles. What's even more impressive is that these numbers actually show a 50% improvement over the previous quarter thanks to software updates. For example, in the first quarter of 2019, Tesla registered one accident for every 2.87 million miles driven. This giant leap shows a significant development in their active safety systems, and it can be backed up by proof as shown by the IIHS's Model 3 tests that scored superior in the Front Crash Prevention Vehicle-to-Vehicle -vehicle section, and advanced in the Front Crash Prevention Vehicle-to-Pedestrian section. Even though there are no official safety tests conducted by the IIHS or the NHTSA, the Tesla Model Y has been taken apart by auto engineering expert Sandy Monroe, and the findings were quite amazing. For starters, Tesla used thicker sheets of metal for the front of the rail on the Model Y compared to the Model 3. This will definitely be a plus in case of a crash and we're entitled to believe that the Model Y will be an even safer vehicle. 
even better than the fan favorite Model 3. Building upon the already extremely solid frame of their electric cars, Tesla took it one step further with their Model Y and prepared it even better for a small overlap frontal test. The IIHS initiated this test in 2012 and wanted to see how well a car can mitigate the damage if it hit a rigid barrier at 40 miles per hour, biased towards the driver's side. In the past, Tesla had some issues with this test since their 2013 Model S only scored average and not good, but meanwhile, they improved their engineering in such a way that the Model 3 aced all of the categories, minus the lower leg foot one, which received only the average grade, which is still pretty good. So because Elon's company is set on creating not only the fastest and most technologically advanced cars, but also the safest ones, the Model Y was provided with a tusk, as Monroe named it. This tusk is cast and sleeved into an aluminum bumper beam, and it will absorb all the energy from impact and send it to the front structure, which is unbelievably solid, as was stated by the auto engineering expert. Tesla says all new cars have the hardware capable of full self-driving. We're talking get in, enter your destination, and the car does the rest. But the future of unsupervised autopilot depends on some significant software advances and regulatory approvals. Tesla has an ethos deeply rooted in software development and is collecting a massive data set to improve their autopilot system. When the automaker inevitably reaches level 5 full self-driving, where the driverless car can operate on any road and in any conditions a human driver could negotiate, it won't just be equal to a human driver, it will likely be orders of magnitude safer. In the not too distant future, when all cars on the road are full self-driving and operate in sync, we will see exponential advances in vehicle safety as we remove the fallible human element from operation. Tesla's state-of-the-art innovative features in crash structure design, restraints, airbags, battery safety, and software put the automaker in a league of their own when it comes to safety. We showcase cutting-edge technology with an emphasis on sustainability and electric vehicles. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so I can eventually afford a Tesla Roadster. Thanks for watching and have a great day.